Hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I'm going to be doing a, another sorting new photo cards in my binder video. And as always, I'm super, super excited. I feel like it's been a while since we have sat down and put photo cards away, right? Like, <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time. So I'm definitely super excited to be here today putting photo cards away. I literally was leaving these photo cards this morning and I didn't realize that I had so much to put away because last week it felt like I had nothing to put away. I have gotten since then um, Chungyun's newest album in the mail. I got ZB1's newest album in the mail. I got my fan kits for both Stray Kids and Monster X. I got my Ive albums in the mail and I've gotten some other stuff from other comebacks that have happened since then and some trades and purchases and so we have a lot to put away today. <laughs> it feels very good that I have an ATs's new album too. I forgot about ATs. Um, literally yesterday I picked up ATs's new album. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, all of the supplies I use will be listed in the description box down below. I do have a card that has everything that is listed for everything <laughs> that I use. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And timestamps will be down below as well. So you can go ahead and check those out. But yeah, I'm super excited. I feel like there's so many comebacks happening right now. And I've talked about before how K-pop felt a little slow for me at the beginning of the year. So I'm definitely super excited that more of my faves are making comebacks again. Um, and a couple of my faves have kind of hinted at upcoming comebacks. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I also got a Korean address package in the mail today, which it feels like forever since I've gotten a Korean address package in the mail. I'm super excited about it, <laughs> but I haven't even opened it yet because I had so many cards for this video already. I was like, I'll just save them for next time. All right, so first we're going to start with my Prism Platinum TXT binder. Um, so let me go ahead and flip to where we need to go. So I was able to trade um, one of my extra pulls for Yeonjun's um, ethereal version. So super excited to have him. And yeah, I need to do some Makari Japan shopping for the rest of his cards. Um, I just plan on buying the rest of his cards from like other MOA. So yeah, I do have all three of his album cards now. And then I do have all five Target cards. So there's Young Junes. And here are the other four members. They are currently on tour in the US and their tour looks so much fun. I'm kind of sad I didn't get to go this year, but... I will definitely see them again because they're amazing performers. But um, yeah, that is everything I have for this binder right now. I do need to upgrade this binder still, but <laughs> don't worry. Um, it's in the works. Next for mini binders, we're going to go into the Maxident and Five Star and Rockstar Pob binder. It's been a while since we've looked in here, but I do have one card to add. So I didn't really know for a while what I wanted to do for Rockstar, um, but one of my friends, Carrie, reached out to me and she was like, I have an extra um, Lino Pob of him with Libet. And so I've decided I'm just gonna get Chan and Wolf Chan's equivalent of this, and then I'm gonna be done for this era. I don't know, I was kind of waiting for more things to come out, and I was just like not really sure what else I wanted to collect. I knew I wanted to collect these, um, and yeah, so I've just basically decided to collect this set and then just be done. I'm pretty ready to be done with Rockstar era, mostly because I know that there's a new era in the works, and it's probably coming in July. There's been a couple rumors about it, and um the members were seen filming a music video so it's definitely upcoming or maybe maybe it wasn't a music video maybe it was a video <laughs> they were seen filming something in new york so um yeah they're definitely planning a comeback soon so i don't want to be like too worried about rockstar and i did collect pretty much every korean pop that there was to collect um so yeah i just I'm really hoping that it's not, I'm gonna be gone a couple weekends in July and I'm praying that Stray Kids don't come back during that time. Like one, it's gonna be July 4th weekend. Yeah, I just am worried about that. And then there was another weekend in July that I'm going to be going out of town and I'm praying it's not that weekend they make a comeback. But the other weekends in July, I think are okay. Except for there's KCON weekend in July too. Oh my God. There's literally one weekend in July that would like work. Honestly, the 4th of July weekend might be okay. Do we think Target will be open the 5th of July? 
Is that a holiday that Target's gonna observe? I don't know. I'm stressed about it. If it is the 5th of July, um, we'll know like next week if it's gonna be that soon. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on then. So the next thing we're gonna work on is Ive and Ive recently made a comeback. It actually isn't that recent now. It's It's been a little bit. <laughs> They've promoted two different title tracks at this point. So yeah, we're gonna start putting away Ive switch cards, which is fun as you know i collect ot6 for ive so i did set up to collect for that i think they're still doing like fan signs and stuff but they've been doing a lot of lucky draws and so i haven't felt inclined to collect anything else also in my korean address package is my um like trading card sets from their most recent fan con which is a couple months old at this point but <laughs> but regardless the cards are here so i'm excited to open those i'm gonna be filming a haul video to go up on the main channel next week um and i'm also supposed to be getting my at's walmart exclusive albums in today so i think i'm just gonna do like a combination haul and post that next week wednesday or thursday or something i'm trying to get better at posting multiple times a week on both channels so we'll see how that goes yeah so i'm just gonna open all that together i just need to separate these by like type of card which you think i would have done already this this back is so pretty the backs of these cards are really nice this era and then i also have a ton of of the off versions because i accidentally bought six off versions from starship square because i'm because <laughs> i'm stupid but it's fine i'm gonna be buying probably at least one more set before i start actually buying photo cards but we will save okay, so for the on version i pulled iso and these are just from my unboxing album. So yeah, if you didn't see my unboxing, it is up on my channel now. So you can check that out. And then for the off version, I pulled um, Eugen. And then for the spin-off version, I pulled Liz. I absolutely love this card of Liz so much. And then for the lenticulars, you get these in three different versions. I'm really hoping I can complete this set with my Starship Square albums, but we'll see. For this, I pulled Eugen, Liz, and Iso. So we'll go ahead and put these away. And then for the Loved Eye version, I pulled Ray. I feel like Loved Eye is going to be a difficult version to collect. I'm a little nervous about that and finding like people reselling cards from this version but we will see for the digi pack so i bought all six digi packs because i do collect ot6 <laughs> and i pulled five of the six cards so i pulled everybody except for iso right yeah everybody except for iso so i do have an extra ray up for trade right now um if somebody wants to trade ray for iso on my trade sale instagram let me know would love to trade with you, but we'll go ahead and put everybody else away. I didn't buy any additional digi packs because I just didn't really need them and I didn't love the Starship Square benefits for the digi packs. So I was like, eh, I don't really need six more digi packs. I'm just gonna buy six this era. So, so cute. Oh, I love this set so much. And then for the play version, I bought two for my unboxing and I pulled Wan Young both times. I do have four more um, in my Starship Square like Korean address package. So I'm going to wait and see what my pulls are in that before I trade Wan Young. A couple people have reached out to me on my trade sale Instagram about her, um, but I am not trading my spare Wan Young until I know what my other four pulls are. Hopefully I can pull the other four members play versions that I need. I pulled Eugen and Wan Young in my unboxing albums. I just bought two random versions. Um, and I only bought four from Starship Square because I didn't need extra play versions. But now I'm kind of wishing I had bought six because then I probably would have been guaranteed a full set, but it's fine. <laughs> and then that's it for this. The Starship Square cards are still in my Korean address package, but we will do large inclusions in my other binder in a little bit when we put away ZB1. So yeah, I'm super excited to be collecting a new Ive era. I am so, so happy that they made a comeback. Both songs are so good. Um, I am partial to Ascendio. I have been since the album came out but Heya is also super great and then Ice Queen is 
the other song that I've been playing a lot recently and Blue Heart, which Won Young helped write, which is such a gorgeous song. But anyways, love the Ive girlies. So excited to be collecting them. So excited to have more cards for them next time I film a sorting photo card video. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on now. All right, so we're gonna move on to a four binders now, starting with my Wano binder. Not just Wano, Wano One. Like it has been forever since I have added anything to this binder. I'm super excited about that. Still plan to at least be done with like his previous albums before he makes a comeback. I, these cards stress me out. <laughs> it's really obsession era that I feel like I need the most help with, but this is a big day because somebody sent me a Macari US listing for the Everline Lucky Draw set, and I'm so excited. I have been looking for this for so long. If you don't know, this oh, Obsession was a crazy era for Wano. He released so many pops. Like, it really... I mean, Blue Letter and Obsession were both super crazy eras, um, and they were pretty close together, so I missed this Lucky Draw set. <laughs> I've been looking for it ever since. So, when Wano gets back from the military, I am not skipping a single Lucky Draw or pop ever again because I've been looking for this since the album came out so I'm super excited to be adding a full page of lucky draws to this binder today. I still plan on posting a mid-year photo card collection update in July. Like I said I am going to be quite busy in July so I don't know when I'm going to post it yet but I need to start thinking about it because today is literally June 1st so but yeah let's see how I want to set this up. There's nine cards which is nice but there's not like an even amount of cards. I think these need to be in the middle. Oh it's so nice to have Wano cards. <laughs> Everything feels right in the world but does that look okay? I'm trying to decide if I want to do it like that or if I want to do it like a seven pattern but instead of having like a filler that's the wrong direction. Do it like that. Okay let's do that. Let me put these cards in. Wano comes back from the military literally so soon. He's coming back in September, on September 4th to be exact. So it's what, today's June 1st, July, August, September. It's like a little over three months, which is insane. It feels like he's been gone for so long. Like I miss him so, so much. I miss all the monsters and Wano so much. So like, yeah, but it feels like military era has been so long. I'm so excited for Wano to come back and then he never has to leave us. He can go on his US tour so I can see him. <laughs> I miss him so much. Oh my goodness. So cute, this page. I cannot believe I have these. Finally, thank you so, so much to the person who reached out to me and saw these on Macari US and was like, you should buy these. And I was like, I was literally at work and I stopped what I was doing and I bought the cards real fast because I was like, this is not a bad deal for these cards. Um, it's probably about what I would have spent on them if I had purchased them like face value before the Macari fees. Macari US fees are kind of insane. But yeah, it was a US seller, so it arrived super quickly. So oh, I'm so, so happy to have this full set. But yeah, that is it for Wano day what's going on with wano we haven't looked at this in a while so like let me just take a second to refresh myself i've given up on these cards last i heard from the group order manager who was buying a bunch of these cards from someone that literally purchased a year ago they were like oh i think they're gonna send them this week and that was like a month and a half ago so i've kind of given up so if you ever see soundwave round three for blue letter let me know let's see what else am i missing with drama three for obsession and then with fans one and tower records one these are going to be hard to find i never see these cards i'm missing two of the who's fan lucky draws these lucky draws man <laughs> i skipped two rounds of lucky draws but i'm just missing two more so that's it for this binder that's that's literally all I need still. So we're getting somewhere. The Wano collection will be complete before he comes back from the military. I gotta get my head in the game, you know? Like they said in High School Musical, gotta get your head in the game. I gotta get my head back in the game for the Wano collection. We're getting close. We have made a lot of progress since he's been in the military. So I'm quite happy about that. But yeah, that's it for this binder today. All right, continuing with the Wanstas, let's work on Changyun's binder. So Changyun released a new album. It's been a while at this point, um, but we're gonna put some cards away for it. So for the off version, I pulled this card. This is just from like my unboxing albums from Lineup K. Um, I do have a couple of other photo book versions in my Korean address package so hoping to pull other cards and then for the beat version i pulled where is it 
I pulled this card, which is so cute. So I'm just going to put these both as like number one for right now. Um, and we can always adjust as we get more cards. The extra often beat cards you get, you get these with every single album. So this is the one from the off version and this is the one from the beat version. And then for the jewel case, there's two different photo cards. This is the one I pulled in my first jewel case album. I am going to put this one here just because of what the other one looks like. And I don't have any other jewel cases ordered, but hopefully I can just buy the extra jewel case on resale somewhere, like on Macari Japan or something. We have the off Polaroid and the beat Polaroid. So let's put these away. So yeah, there's that. And then for the Nemo's version, so you get six cards just like in general. And then there's two random selfie cards. Well, let me see the best way to put these away. I think that looks good. What does the other one look like for the Nemo version? Oh, it's the lollipop card. Okay, I do have Nemo albums coming from a group order I joined. Um, so hopefully I'm able to get the other card. I bought three Nemo albums, so hopefully the pulls are pretty even so I get both cards. If not, I'll try to find a trade. I love how easy the album cards are this era because Overdrive was not this easy. <laughs> I'm still working and still struggling on Overdrive. And then I bought two sets of like pre-order albums and I bought the Nemo albums for the group order, but I didn't end up buying like any other pops or anything. I do plan on fully collecting his pops, so I'm just gonna have to buy them resale. But yeah, I just like didn't want to have a ton of extra albums. I'm trying to avoid that right now, have a bunch of extra albums um, and just like buy what I need. So yeah, it kind of sucks to have a bunch of extra albums. So it's almost better to buy like resale right now, but Anyways, this is this page, which is nice. And then I don't have any pops to add here yet because I haven't opened my albums that have pops with them. So yeah, that's what we have for Chungkyun so far. I do have these postcards. I think that's it, right? I have so many large inclusions to put away. We haven't done any of it yet because we've only been working on A5 binders right now. Um, but yeah, this does go in the three pocket. So let me grab one. Okay, I'm gonna put this three pocket here and just store these postcards. So this one's from the off version and this one's from the beat version. So yeah, you just get these with every album. I usually store all things Monstex, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure there will be something to add here at some point, but yeah, that is everything for Chungyun today. It feels nice to finally put some of his cards away. Also, if you ever see the last two of these, please help me. And the last jewel case card, please help me. <laughs> oh, literally struggling. I'm so close too. Like it's painful how close I am. But anyways, yeah. Let me know if you ever see any of those cards I'm missing. All right. Next, we're going to do some 17. Very excited very happy with this binder cover still so i don't think i'll be changing it anyways so we're gonna go back to 17's most recent release their best of album if you missed my setting up video on the second channel i basically i'll run through it real quick so i basically decided to collect dino's album cards this era for a couple of reasons the first reason being i pulled one of his album cards yeah it feels silly i don't know where it is at this moment in time um but yeah i pulled i got two signed albums from the u.s store um and that's all the albums i plan on buying for 17 this era i'm gonna buy everything else resale but i did pull jung han and dino in those versions so yeah i also pulled hoshi and I'm trying to remember who else i pulled but everyone's been asking me about the hoshi duck card so <laughs> So, um, yeah, on my trade sale Instagram, they're both posted there. I'm trying to trade for the other members I collect. So I pulled one of Jung Han's random cards from the here version, the H-E-A-R version, <laughs> which is on this page. So let's actually do Dino first. So I pulled Dino from this version. It just looks better doing an eight pattern. And I already pulled one of his cards anyways. So I was just kind of like... Dino's not really a difficult person to collect, so I also think his cards are so cute this era. I really like his H-E-A-R cards. 
um there's one where he has like a little smile and he's doing like a little thing on his cheek and he just looks adorable so anyways i just went ahead and decided to collect him this era because it was gonna look weird in my binder anyways and i was like i love dino's cards so like let me just <laughs> let me just collect them so this is one of dino's cards and i when i opened these i didn't film it or anything but when i opened these albums um i was like oh i really want to keep this card so <laughs> So I guess I better find a way to incorporate it. And then I pulled one of Jung Han's H-E-A-R cards, like I said earlier, which was really exciting because Jung Han can be a difficult member to collect. Cute. And then I decided to do my top four on their own page and then do nine patterns for everything else. So let me just grab my top four. These are just like the full card sets that come with the album. This card of S. Coops is so cute. I love him so much. So I just decided to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put away my top four and just keep them together. And then we're just gonna do nine patterns for everyone else. Seventeen did also celebrate their nine year anniversary recently, which is so exciting. I'm so, so happy for them and so proud of them. I do love Seventeen so much. I've been collecting them and standing them. Well, not collecting them, but I've been standing them since before they even debuted. Like I followed them when they were trainees and I have seen them live a couple of times, though never as OT13. Um, and I would love to experience that someday, seeing them as OT13. It hasn't happened yet, <laughs> um, but hopefully at some point it does. We're waiting on the KCON lineup currently. I have already decided I'm going to KCON, but I'm just kind of waiting to see the lineup, but maybe they'll get 17 to go. You think KCON could pull that off? Probably not for the ticket prices that they're selling the tickets at. <laughs> I feel like I would never go for that. But anyways, here's this page. It looks so, so cute. So yes, and then now we can put the other nine members away. I shouldn't have shuffled the versions like this. <laughs> I didn't think about it when I was doing it. I was like, oh yeah, let me just stick this big stack of cards together. I should have kept them organized because I was like, you can kind of tell, but like, for example, S. Coops, sometimes... I don't know, some of S. Coops' cards look kind of similar between the versions. He's like wearing the same colors. So it's just, I don't know. Anyways, but we're just gonna do this. I thought it would look nice. I wanted to store the full set, but I don't love the OT13 layout. So I thought this was a, a better option. This DK card, so cute. Probably my favorite card from the set. I also love this June card. And Wuji with the blonde hair right now. He's, he's killing it. He looks great this era. Vernon, cute. Oh my gosh, this set is so nice. Okay, let's do the other here set. I definitely prefer the H-E-R-E -E set, but this, or the H-E-A-R set, this set. I definitely prefer this set, but I love this Wano card. He looks so cute. But yeah, this is also a very cute set. It's nice to get a full set of photo cards. Especially for someone like me who like loves every single member of Seventeen and like would collect OT13 if she could. It's nice to have an OT13 set. I don't plan on getting the deluxe version. Um, it's just too much, but it's nice to have at least these versions. This album was so incredibly expensive. Yeah, I got my like two signed copies from the US store and I was like, that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything else. And so I'm gonna be buying everything else like resale, the Weverse versions um, and the Deer versions. I do plan on collecting S. Coops' Kino card. He's the only member I'm collecting Kinos from this era, but I am collecting the Deer cards for top four as normal. Um, but yeah, that is it. I'm not collecting any extra pobs or anything for S. Coops this era either. I'm just gonna just keep it simple <laughs> this era. So yeah, that is everything for 17 today. I don't have any larger inclusions to put away for them, so. That's it. That's it for 17. All right, next we're gonna work on ZB1. This binder is so thick already. It's stressing me out. I think it'll be fine for right now, but I think the next time ZB1 makes like a Korean comeback, we're gonna have to separate them from Ive and Cravity, but it's fine. I believe everything I have is, yeah, is their new album. So let's discuss You Had Me At Hello. So I also set up for this on my second channel, but basically we're gonna do, we'll just go through everything. Cause I was very lucky with my bias line this time around. I did pull 
Hanbin's lenticular for the solar version, which is nice. I still want to get Matthews, but I can't find anywhere that has Matthews version in stock. That's very annoying. Um, and then I also pulled Hanbin for the sun shower version. I love this tattoo, by the way. Like, I love his little chest tattoo. I think it's so cute. Thank God I collect Hanbin already because... <laughs> Because I pulled so much of him, I feel like if I was still on the fence of collecting him, um, I probably would have given in this era and started back collecting him. So that's nice that I already collect him. And then for the Eclipse version, I also pulled Hanbin. Everyone is shocked, but then I pulled this unit card of Gyuvin and Chiung. So I'm going to collect him as well. I think I, think I want to kind of do this in age order, but I can't remember the other units currently. Because I'm trying to think about where Changao and um, Hanbin are, like what units they're in. But I guess like we could put Jiung here because he's the second oldest member. Or he is the oldest member, but like we'll put Hanbin's unit first. That, I'm going to collect all four units because there's only four. So I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I should. And then I pulled Hanbin's Eclipse card. Such a cute card. This is like my favorite card of him this era. He looks absolutely precious um moving on to the digipack in the zeros version i did pull kanuk's zero or uh, his um digipack card and i think i have a trade for hanbin matthew is not going well so far but i do have matthew's a zeros card one of his zeros cards i don't know what i'm gonna count as one or two so i'm just gonna put it as one for right now um, and we'll just go from there. Finally, I am going to do what I normally do for like 17 for like the member versions. And I'm going to keep, I got Eugen randomly and I'm going to keep his four like cards that come with his zeros version. I'm going to put him back here. And when I get my other three members, which I haven't been able to find all three of them together, because I'd love to buy all three of them together. I might have to Makari Japan it at this point but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna have him on this page and then I'm gonna have Hanbin and Matt on this page. So for the four cards that come with the member version. I think I'm going to store like the other member specific things for my bias line, but I don't think I'm gonna store Eugen. I think I'm going to keep those in his version, but I did wanna store the photo cards. So yeah, there's that. And then let's look at large inclusions because we have uh, some large inclusions. Oh, this I need a two pocket for. Decide if I wanna store, I wanna store these for sure. I guess let me just put these away real quick. These are from the Digipack version, so. Supposedly they're random, but I was able to pull all three of my bias line, so that's fun. Um, so I'm going to put these away. I think I will make fillers just to to make them pop a little bit more. <laughs> Get it? Make them pop a little bit more. Um, and then I did pull one of the hollow stickers that has Matthew and Hanbin in it, so I wanted to keep it. Um, I don't know if I'll end up getting the second one, but... I figured I would keep this one and then this is not gonna fit. I also pulled um, Hanbin's like four frame card. Uh, I guess I'll leave this. I'll leave this for the, um, for the what's it called? The hollow postcards from the Eclipse version. I think I'm gonna end up collecting this for all three of my members too since I pulled Hanbin. <laughs> Mine as well. Larger inclusions are actually very easy to collect for me because I feel like a lot of people don't collect them. I don't know. I think it's nice. <laughs> so I'll put Matt here and then I'll put Gonok on the back there. I could collect a fourth member for this as well. We'll see how I'm feeling. I would probably want to get Chung Ao too, so it really depends on how expensive he is. Um, I think that's it for ZB1. kind of want to get more like normal albums before I start buying cards. But we'll see. I've, I've been waiting for them to announce a new round of like pobs that I'm obsessed with. And that hasn't happened yet. There's some really cute pobs out there, but nothing that I want like OT9 for. Kind of what I'm waiting on right now is something to grab me and then I'll end up getting more albums that way. Um, okay, moving back to IVE. So we have the hearts and then also the mini posters. And then there's also the set of like 
other postcards and I almost don't want to put this set of postcards in here right now. It's really going to bulk the binder up. I think I'd rather split the binders first and then put this in next time. I think I'll do that. I'll go out and get another binder, but I'll put everything else away for right now. Little heart cards are going to have to go in a large two pockets because Starship sucks. <laughs> Because Starship actually hates my guts. So we're going to have to do that. I'm going to have to mess with these off camera to just like secure them better. But I'm just going to put them away for right now so that we have them put away. So I'm going to do Eugene and Kyle here. I think I can fit two on one page is what I've decided. Yeah, I definitely can. Okay, we're going to do that. Or I could go like this. Should I do this? Ugh, is that annoying? <laughs> It won't be folded that way. That might be what I have to do. All right, so Ray is the, the oldest member I have. So I'm gonna put here, here, and then I'll make fillers for this. These are pretty easy fillers to make. I'll put one young here, and then I'll do one more page for Liz and Iso. I'm gonna open my Korean address package after I finish filming this video. I'm really, really hoping for good pulls. I'm so nervous about it. I'm hoping I can pull at least like some of the cards I still need. Do I want it to be this way? I think so. Yeah, that's much better. I love these sleeves though. Buying a hundred pack of these was like the best thing I've ever done because these are so hard to find, like these specific sleeves. It's nice to have them. And then, okay, let's go back here and I'm gonna put away the mini posters. I think I technically need one more one pocket for this. I'm missing Cull and I think I have a trade for her and Liz right now. I have two extra Eugens. I pulled her three times, <laughs> but it's fine. I'm going to try to be better about large inclusions this era. There isn't that much like for random large inclusions, so it should be pretty easy for me to, to do that. And then I'll make another like separator thing, but I'm going to put you so back here. And I will add Liz once I get her. Like I said, I'm not buying any more Digipacks. So if you have Liz and Kyle, um, like I said, I think I have a pending trade for Kyle. But if you have Liz and you want to trade for Eugen, um, let me know. Message me on my trade sale Instagram. But yeah, that is everything for Ive today. The rest of our large inclusions are Monstax and Stray Kids. So... <laughs> So that's good. This binder desperately needs to be separated. It's gonna happen. I didn't think I would collect this much Zero Base One when I started this binder, to be fair. Um, I probably will keep this as the Zero Base One binder um, just because it has the cover. And then I'll just use one of my extra Ive albums to make a cover for my Ive and Cravity binder. I have nothing for Cravity today, but I do have Cravity in my Korean address package. So next time there will be Cravity. Usually I would save ATs to last, but I don't have all my versions today. I only bought Yuno know, and Hong Jung's Digipacks yesterday from the pop-up. My Walmart albums aren't here yet, and I'm gonna film an unboxing for those anyways in a haul video coming out next week. So it's not like the first real putting away AT stuff. <laughs> I think we have an older card actually first, so let's do that. Okay, so for ATs, I first have this Mingi Hello Distribution card. This was a trade. And it finally arrived, which is super exciting. So this set is all complete now, which means I'm still just missing the Barnes and Noble exclusive cards from last time, but this made me sad. This made me sad. So I have lost motivation to finish it, which is great, but I'm gonna finish it. Sung Hwan, you know, shouldn't be that hard to get. And I need to decide if I want the heart to make sense on the front or the back. I'm probably gonna do the front um, but I'm gonna wait to get all the cards before I rearrange it. So I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. And yeah, um, Opong Charlotte had a bunch of pop-up albums yesterday. I bought some albums from like the FNAC. I joined a group order for that. And then, which I should have known my photo card polls actually. I think the GOM said they were gonna send us our polls. Let me just peek at my DMs real quick. <laughs> Yay, I got both the ice cream cards. Okay, I didn't get both of the HMV exclusive cards, which is fine, but I got both the ice cream cards. That was important. Okay, yay. Shout out to that group manager because they were making me so nervous. They were just typing in the group chat a little bit ago and they were like, oh guys, I really don't know if everyone's going to get their polls. And I was like, please, like, I don't mind trading internationally. Like it would be fine to trade within Europe, but like, oh, I'm so happy I got both ice cream cards. I don't really care that much about the, like the European exclusive cards but 
I have Hong Jung for it. I just need Yuno. So if you have Yosang, or if you have Yuno, the European exclusive card, and you want to trade for Yosang, let me know. Yay! That's fun. Okay, but anyways, moving on. To <laughs> moving on to this, I went to the pop up yesterday, bought Hong Jung and Yuno's Digi packs because I figured. Whatever else I bought, it's gonna be easiest at the pop-up on the day of the pop-up to buy Yuno know, and Hong Jung Hong Jun's Digipacks. Um and it was really important that I had like at least one of those. Finding member specific stuff later on is just so annoying. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go. It's very close to where I work, um, and where I live. So I was just like, let me just pop over there real quick after my work shift and film a little vlog. I haven't done a little vlog like that in a while. It was so fun. And the Opong cashier is so nice. Like, their staff are so nice at Opong. All three K-pop stores in Charlotte are great. I love all three of them. Um, Opong just happens to be the closest one to me. So the past couple of times I've gone to look for K-pop stuff, it's been at Opong. But I adore Jute Music. I adore Oh So Happy as well. They're all amazing people. Um, but the cashier was like, oh my god, I haven't seen you in so long. And I was like, I know. It's been a weird year. It's been a weird year. Um, but I was like, I have to come for ATs. Like... There's no question about it. Anyways, the point is, I ended up getting both Hong Jung and Yuno's Mukbang cards. I think I'm gonna do the European exclusive instead of the Target cards. The Target cards are cute, but I don't know where I'm gonna store the US, the US exclusive, and I don't really wanna go buy more albums. I think the only reason I would is if, which I don't even think the Digipacks are Target exclusives, are they? Because Shy posted an unboxing. I haven't watched it yet, but it looked like they had the Target exclusive sticker on the Digipack, so. Anyways, I think I'm going to change this to the European exclusive card instead of the Target card, because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyways, for here, I do have Hong Jung's Mukbang card. I pulled Hong Jung in Yuno's version and Yuno in Hong Jung's version, which was so exciting. Also, work is so good. It's like really a very, very good song. Um, I'm very obsessed with it. Here is Yuno's Mukbang card. I'm so excited for the Walmart exclusive albums to get here today. Uh, like I said, I'm trying not to buy too many extra albums this year. So that's why I was like, I'm going to buy eight from Walmart because I need eight to trade. But I'm not going to go out and buy a ton extra on US release day. Um, again, I'm going to switch this out, I think, for Yuno's know, um, European exclusive. Um, and then we don't have anything for this. These albums did not get released yesterday. The platform and the polka versions did not get released yesterday. And then I did get a digipack for each of them. So I got a card for each of their, <laughs> each of these sets, the sad set that is the digipack set. It's going to take me forever, but it's fine. Um, so I have this Hongjung card. I don't know what the full template looks like for these yet. So I might end up moving these around, but... For today, I'm just gonna put them where they make sense and I'm gonna put Yuno here. And then for the hug version, um, I got two. So I got Hong Jung and Yosang. Fun. And I'm gonna get more of these in my Walmart album, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. And then for the spy cards, these are the US exclusive cards. I pulled two Songhwa's, so him away. And then I'm gonna see what my Walmart cards have. They should also have spy cards in it. Um, and then we'll just go from there. I haven't set up to store any of the large inclusions for ATs because I forgot that there were large inclusions included in the digipack. So I'm going to do that next time um, with my like postcards from the album itself. So yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, I'm excited to collect another era of ATs. I love their new album so, so much. But yeah, I'm super happy that I pulled so many cards that I need. The only dupe I pulled was that Sunghwa. So yay and i don't have to trade pop-up store cards which is great um i pulled both cards i needed i wasn't tempted to keep anybody else um so that was great i was really excited about that but that's it for ats today okay so next we're gonna do the monstex extra binder and for this i just have um this is the nine pocket one but for this i just have some stuff from my eighth gen mom Bebe fan kit both my eighth gen fan kit and my fourth gen stay fan kit came right before my birthday which was so fun so this was seventh gen so cute i really love this set um and we'll work on eighth gen right here so for the photo cards themselves 
Also, I don't store my membership card in my like other binders. I have a mini binder that I use to store all my membership cards in, which is very useful. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards, exactly. <gasps> Monstex, you geniuses. I almost said let's do Hyung Line at the top, but Hyung Line is literally Shonu, Kihyun, and Hyung Won. Like, why does that feel so weird? <laughs> and then we have Juhan and Kuni. I think that's gonna look the best. What a weird setup. Hyungwon being in Hyungwon just like messes with my brain. Minhyuk, please come back to us. <laughs> Not that any of them are really back right now, just Shonu and Jungkyun. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put these away. It felt so nice to unbox something Monstex related. Um, I do have Kuhn's plushie as well. And then I have my FanCon DVDs in my Korean address package. So I'm excited to open those as well. Just opening Lost X just feels, just feels so right always. So I'm really happy they gave us nine cards though. Cause if Minhyuk had been here, we would have gotten 10. And actually we probably would have gotten more than 10. They probably would have done two, two, two for the units. He'll be here for the next one. Oh, I miss them so much. <laughs> literally miss them so much every day um oh yeah so that is the eighth gen kit photo cards and then it came with two sets of id cards because why not right so one set they're like not smiling and the other set they are smiling so let me just make sure these are all me trying to figure out which one is shonu's like happy card um, yeah, these all go together. So we'll do the happy ones first. And I'm gonna do a five pattern, and normally I hate five patterns, but Monster decks are always the exception. Like, I will always make an exception for them. Kihyun, again, Kihyun being second. As someone who's been on Bombay Bay since debut, Kihyun being the second oldest member is just, like, so weird. Like, it is, it is the strangest thing to me. Um, even though, like, him, Minhyuk, and Wano, well, there's the whole thing with Wano's age, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> This is not the time to talk about that. Um, but like, yeah. Kihan was always a middle child in my brain. Like he's he's continued to be a middle child in my brain. Um, but he's not anymore. He is the second oldest member. So weird. And here, please come back to us. I'm begging. I miss you so much. You're having too much fun in the military. But like, ugh, I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see him. He's coming back in October, I think. Having Minhyuk back is going to be so nice. Oh my god. Also, Changyun had a solo like concert recently in Seoul. And Shonu went, but the other members weren't able to go. So they sent like a like a memorial ribbon thing or whatever. They, Shonu was holding it in a photo. One of them was holding it in a photo. But anyways, it had all the other members' names on it. And I was like, where are my monsters? <laughs> Bring me my monsters, please. I'm begging. Oh yeah, I was so sad about it. I was like, this is just so depressing. Like, give me my monsters back immediately. <laughs> I miss them so bad. I just, it's been so long since a Korean album for a full group of Monstax. Like, Changun has his album and it's great and I love it. I want to see the six of them release an album together so bad. Like, you don't even know. It's been so long. Like, Gambler was the last or one of a kind whatever it was the last like album they released as a six member group and shonu was injured for part of it and like on hiatus so he didn't even really get to participate in like stages though i guess they performed gambler when i saw them at fancon last year so i have seen shonu perform gambler which was a life-changing experience watching him perform that song and watching shonu perform all the songs to be honest was life-changing i was like <laughs> i love you so much um, but yeah, anyways, here's the other set of the ID cards and yeah, I'm, oh, this fits so nicely. Starship is learning. They really are learning. I miss them. I miss them so much. Oh my God. Also, they did a little like pop-up shop and there were some exclusive cards related to that. I did buy one of Kihyun's for my birthday from Poker Market. It was my birthday gift to myself because it's so cute. Look at it. I'll post a photo of it. The other one was like $20 more expensive and I couldn't reason it. So I'm waiting to find it for a cheaper price, but I needed that that particular Kihyun one. Yeah, I need to work on my Kihyun collection, but again, gotta get my head in the game, but... Definitely, like, unboxing that Monster X fan kit, like, really did something to my brain. I was just like, wait, 
Like, Mon Bebe Carolyn has been asleep and just trying to deal with being sad, like, for so long. Give me my monsters back. This is the large inclusions binder for for all my large inclusion needs for Monstax. So does this have any reason, like rhyme or reason besides, I feel like it does. This is like anniversary. I don't think there is. I think it's all just by pocket pages. I think I organized this by pocket pages. FedEx just left. Oh my God, hi FedEx. Did they watch me film this video? My Walmart albums are here. I have to go grab them. Hold on. Decided to open those. Oh my gosh. The box is kind of huge. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? <laughs> oh man. I really hope there's not a lot of dupes, but if it is, it's Walmart. It's Walmart's fault. All right. So here are the postcards from the fan kit. There's only five of them. So <sighs> only five of them. <laughs> but I'm just going to store these age order the weird age order that makes no sense in my brain it's also a weird age order don't look at it don't think about it too much carolyn i'm so excited i'm gonna open that right after i finish this and open my korean address package so excited qb i think this goes in this pocket i'm tired of doing five patterns another reason i need minhyuk back i'm so tired of five patterns what if like Here's a thought. What if when Monsta X come back and release an album as six? Though I don't know, I don't know if I should do this because Changyun has to go to the military. So like I assume they're gonna release like an album or two or something together. And then Changyun's gonna go to the military and it's gonna break my heart into a billion pieces. Um, because I'm gonna be like, how are we still in the military? <laughs> but for, I was thinking about moving Monsta X into like uh like an A5 wide, like Meow Cafe A5 wide six pocket pattern. I thought about doing that for their other albums, but like there's so many cards. Is that even worth it? I don't know, I need to think about it. But before they go back to, do I even have room? Also are Shonu and Hyungwon gonna make like a comeback? Like, is that gonna be like a real unit? I'm having like a crisis right now about Monsta X. <laughs> what is the future of Monsta X? Like, I think it's the possibility of like so much stuff after getting nothing for so long, like my brain cannot comprehend it. And Monstax are a busy group. Like they are so freaking busy before they went into the military. We had a comeback between them and Wano, like every single era. Oh my God, Kihan's gonna release another solo album probably. What if we get a two chains album with Shonu, or not Shonu, what if we get a two chains album with Kihan and Juhan? I literally will not survive. That's, that's actually insane. We have to move on. We have to, we can't look at Monster X, right? <laughs> we have to move on. <laughs> we have to move on. <laughs> That's it for Monster X today. This is why we can't do them anymore. Well, they're on hiatus because I just, I just, I miss them too much. It's so bad. All right, Stray Kids. <laughs> Let's end the video with Stray Kids, shall we? Um, okay. Stray Kids, I also got their fan kit recently. So we're gonna be putting that away. I don't think I have anything else for them. I think it's all, it's all um, fan kit stuff. Their fan kit, so cute. This binder is so full. I need to split it. I need to buy two more binders. One for Stray Kids so that I can move. Cause like Korean albums end here. And like, this is literally half and half. This is merch and other stuff. Also, going to be getting some merch that I pre-ordered from JYP shop this month. It's been a while since I've looked at this binder because I haven't gotten any new skid stuff in the mail, which feels odd. Okay, this is second or third gen. I'm going to have this organized better. Like the way I have my Monster X extras binder, like the binder we just looked at for the nine pocket cards, I'm going to have that set up for Stray Kids like the same way. I gotta do that. I gotta buy more binders. I was looking at my binder shelf the other day and I was like, I think there's a couple of these binders that I can retire, like a couple Monstex binders I could retire at some point. I'm almost ready to retire 101. And by retire, I mean like they're not on my main shelf. They, I have another shelf like in my closet that I keep full binders so that they don't take up space in my main bedroom. Anyways, let's do this. So for photo cards, there was an OT8 set of solo cards and then they released a bunch of unit cards i think there's also eight units one of the units is not min chan which is very upsetting there are eight okay we'll do the solo cards first this set is so cute i love straight i miss them so much 
they don't need to come back yet, but they're gonna come back soon. <laughs> they're gonna come back soon. I'm like not financially ready. I need to start. I should have more money set aside first for a kid's comeback than I do right now. It's not good. Um, so definitely gonna be a priority. But yeah, let me put these cards away. This is the back of them. It has their signatures on the back. Very cute. It's been a year since Five Star got released today it's been a year which is crazy and also like i was at lucky draw events in korea during this which is just also crazy i want to go back to korea but never again in july i had a bad time going in july um it was just like so humid and so rainy like i need to go earlier in the year like in like may or something so cute i love them where's the hollow cards that's cute and then we'll go ahead and do the unit cards i'm gonna try to do them in like age order we'll go by like whoever's older so we'll do chan and jisung han and jongin and then lino and hyunjin this is an iconic photo card i love this unit next stray kids era i need unit cards i love unit cards i know a lot of people don't like unit cards but I like unit cards and I loved getting unit cards in Ordinary and I want more unit cards. Again, JYP, it's such an easy extra photo card inclusion and we get nothing. <laughs> As someone who collects OT9 twice and OT8 straight kids, like we get nothing. Where's Chungbin? And then Hyunjin and Felix and Jisung and Sigmin. This also is an iconic card this hyunjin and felix one both with their long hair they look so good and then oh this is the back of those as well very cute it also came with a set of like member stickers there were other stickers besides the member stickers but i decided to put the member stickers in my binder because i thought they were cute so i'm gonna do that i want unit cards next era i think it wouldn't be a hard inclusion to add and like they don't need to be in sets of four in the US like they were last time. Like make them a little more difficult to collect for me. I would love that. I need a challenge, I feel like. And I need a non-pob challenge. I need something to motivate me to buy more albums. And I think, I think unit cards would do it. I would love to collect unit cards. Give me version specific unit cards. I'm crazy, it's fine. This is a really cute set. I hope the stickers don't move around too much. I was gonna secure them with washi, and then I was like, let me just see how they do just on their own first before I do that. These are cute. I really like these in my binder. These are really cute. Don't do this for the comeback though, JYP. Don't do that. <laughs> just give me a unit card. Last set here is ID photos. So they only did one set of ID photos. They are double-sided, which kind of sucks but I'm just gonna put them in like this like I normally would for ID photos. I'm too lazy to sort them and then put them away. So I'm just gonna, just gonna put them where they belong. Who's this? I just feel like JYP could be doing a lot more with Stray Kids album inclusions considering how many versions they give us. But if they give us the like selfies that um twice got for the nemo's version i will be flying to korea and walking into jyp's building and talking to jyp about that decision like no um so that was that and then we're gonna go back to larger inclusions because i have the postcard set to put away this is a really nice postcard set as well so i definitely want to store this Look at Felix with the lollipop. He is so cute. Have you seen the video of them talking to Felix about if he speaks um, French or not? And Felix is like, no, I don't speak French. I took French in high school, but I'm not very good at it anymore. I hear like people speak French in like TV shows and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I actually like kind of know what you're saying. Because somehow my five years of learning French, some of it was retained. But not enough for me to like speak it comfortably. And it actually worked out pretty well. I wish we had a group postcard, but we don't. These are so pretty though. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that is everything for this video. But yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff from, God, what was that merch drop they did a while ago? I bought a bunch of stuff from that. 
<laughs> from JYP shop. They said it was going to start shipping in June. So I think it's like June 18th or something. So that stuff should be coming fairly soon. It's been a while since I've gotten some Stray Kids merch in the mail. I also got a Leebit in that package. Oh my God, I bought Leebit. I'm finally going to have Wolf Chan and Leebit. That's going to be great. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today and putting away all of these photo cards. Literally feel like we put away so much today and it felt good to to be putting away all these new comebacks and everything. Um, definitely super excited to be collecting a bunch of new eras. And I also was super happy to put away some Wano, Monster Dex, and Stray Kids today. It's been a while since I've been able to do all three in the same video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.